Hi friends, and welcome to Tiny Technical Tutorials, where we do bite-sized lessons for today's tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with columns in Microsoft Word. Here we have a document, let's say that you're working on a newsletter. I've filled it in with just the standard lorem ipsum text. Let's say that you need to update this layout to use columns. There's a few different options here. I'll start by putting my mouse right above the first paragraph, and then if you come up to Layout, you can go to Columns, and choose your different options here. So if we say two columns, that'll format the entire document into two columns, or three. There's some other options as well. So left will give you a small left column, a larger right column, and then the opposite if you choose right. So that's being applied to the entire document here, all the way to the end. There are additional options under more columns. So let's say that you needed four or five columns or you need a column to have a specific width, for example, you can adjust that here. But let's say, I'll go back up to just the one column. Let's say that you only need columns in a particular part of the document. So maybe the first page is fine the way it is, but then as you get to the next page, there's a certain section that you want to put into columns. So in that case, you'll just select that section and let's say we want three columns. Just that easy. Now you will notice the section break right here at the top and the bottom of those columns. If you don't see that section break, you'll want to come to Home and make sure this button is selected right here. This will be super helpful, especially if you're only using it in parts of the document so you know where that begins and where it ends. So inside of here, if you place your mouse inside of that section, then you can come and make updates. So maybe you just wanted the two columns and it's gonna update everything there within that section break. Okay, I'm just gonna control Z. We'll go back to no columns here. One common thing you need to do is to work with images. So I'm gonna go insert an image here into the newsletter. I've just got this on my hard drive, so we'll say insert picture from this device. We've got Dan here, I'll insert that. And let's say that we want this text and the picture of Dan to be in two different columns. So again, come up to Layout, Columns, 2. In this case, I need to resize the image here. There we go. And the section break in this case is a little bit hidden. You'll see it's right there after the image. So it's starting up here and ending right here. And everything inside of that section is going to be the two columns. You, of course, could make that three columns and so on, just like we saw before. Okay, the final way you can work with columns, this is actually not the official column layout, but you can always use a table as well. So if you come into insert table, maybe you need something with say five columns, three rows, then you can work with the columns here as well. So there you have it. That's how to easily work with columns in Microsoft Word. If you found this content valuable, we always appreciate likes, subscribes, and shares.